Well, can't afford too much, so I guess I'll just put it into crit damage. Uh, so I got- I got scythes! That's- Hopefully that means some progress. Uh, do you wanna- Yeah, let's actually go back here. Or, er, not you. Go back to her. Not this one. We wanna switch back to a little bit of money. We don't need two siphon- We don't need too many siphon runes just because I've got mana shield. And mana regen. She's a- She's a mage- a uh, she mage with a beard. All wizards have beards. It's a rule. You should know this, man. Well, that had some unintended... Uh, some seriously unintended casualties. I think that got them both. So what else do we have? Hoping that would give me a little bit more than that. Yeah, so we've got a spell switch. I'll go for it. I like the size, but the other spells are less interesting from my perspective. Question. I don't think that'll hit the ninja. Really wish these swords would actually block enemy projectiles. That'd be kind of rad. That's uh, okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. It hits. You must assist. Oh, I got two. Hey, oh shit. There we go. Okay, so maybe these aren't as bad. I should get for a little bit. Did they block some projectiles? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Take no damage. Oh, that's okay, that's an easy enough one. Okay, avoid. There we go. Alright, we're good. Taking some damage, this mana shield is just always going to remain. Probably one of the better, uh... Alright, can I break these? No. I can only break them. The swords block damage, you can go for some squishy wizard to, uh, god mode. Except for the fact that wizards are already god mode right now. Like, wizards have mana shield, which makes them nuts. Gotcha. There we go. Alright. I guess it isn't about the spells that you have, it's about how you use them. But still. Gosh darn it. We're doing fine. But yeah, if you notice, I'm barely taking damage as the wizard. Because I've got, uh... I've got these... I I've got mana shield, which makes it so I barely take any damage. And as long as I'm getting... Yeah, that's the stuff. As long as I'm getting a uh, decent amount of mana back, I pretty much never take any damage here. Uh, let's wait until that one breaks at the very least. Okay, this is, this is better. I don't even know what my other spells are. Oh, we got spiky balls!
There we go. I'm not necessarily convinced the spiky balls are actually the best, but they're certainly lazy mode if you want to just turn them on. And that's that. Right, wait for a bit of HP. Or HP, MP. Alright, we're good. Well, at least those ones are easy. Spike balls are a major speedrun strat. Gotcha. Excuse me. Not even... It must have been one of the fireballs that I just jumped right into. Oh, do I not have peak jumps anymore? Oh, right. Because I took off all of my jump granting equipment. Okay, let's just wait for a bit. That was a bit expensive. These things called oh they're called plankies. I thought they're called pickies for a second. I'm like what? Yeah, let's skip that one. Fairy chests are nice. Not that nice. Wow, that was effective. Okay, and let's switch this up. Where is... There it is. Voyage of Terror. Whoever suggested this the other day had the right idea. Ow! Yeah, I just... I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. Even if I, like, tried really hard. I might be able to I might be able to do it if I really believed in myself. But I'm lazy. Okay, where is this? I didn't notice the platform there. Trying to scoot down through that. It's rough, but it's okay. Where am I going? Up. We still haven't found the boss. This character would be a decent contender for taking it out. There we go. Let's see. Activate the press down to auto fall through platforms. I mixed feelings on that. Last time I did that, I just fell through too many platforms. And that was a bit risky. There we go. There we go. Might as well clear those out if I can. There we go. Hell yeah, spikes. Oops. There we go. Just gotta find the right angle for that guy. And we're actually doing fine, so we don't really need to do that. Excuse me, sir. Oh, shoot. He got sneaky. Alright, so here's the boss. How much do I believe in myself? It's about time that we go after the boss, I think. And who are you? Oh! This thing! Ponce de Leon! Excuse me, Ponce. I like your fire. But I gotta ask. How do you like mine?
All right, found a teleporter of the darkness. Get some nice little stats up. And we're good. Theme was hype for a second there. I apologize that we didn't really need to hang out and fight him. Oh, let's see. I'm just gonna... Fight Barith. And by fight Barith, I mean mostly watch my spiky balls kill him to death. Hooray! The stats up. They are glorious. Layer plate. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. We might as well grab the HP up over here. And we're definitely going to need some more mana sooner than later. Okay. So far, so good. Take no damage, they say. Spiky balls, I say. Is there... Nope, there's nothing left. Hell yeah! Okay, so let's hang out in here for a second, let my mana regain. I know Zors was saying that mages kind of level off after a certain point. This would normally be true. If you actually got better at the game the more you played it. I don't think that's really accurate for me. Whoa! Hi! That's, uh... That's some bad wolf right there. Not too much damage, though. There we go. Who's getting knocked back now, you jerk? Oh. Huh. Weirdly... Peaceful room, save for the spiky balls. But that's about it. Got it. HP increased. There we go. It wasn't too scathed. Oh, I guess let's wait for my mana to return. Just a smidge. Let's see. What do we... Hmm... There we go. Whoa. Oh, hey. We're starting to get the plus one versions. Admittedly, that's the Squire Helm, and I don't know what the plus one Squire Helm does. I'm assuming it's only a little bit better. Yeah, it's not great. I guess the real question is, is it just every stat plus one, or is it a 10% increase? How? Grabbing some damage. Uh, Squire Sword plus one. Now, if I remember right, Squire Equipment being... The Squire Equipment is the, the lowest tier equipment in this game. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out when we go by the, uh, the shop. I have 50,000 gold, and I got more than 50,000 gold in it. So far, so good. Ow. 
So far, so kind of good. Ow. We got it. Doing okay. Actually, speaking of, go back in here. Nope, no more mana to gain. There we go. Alright, wait for the... And a return. Wait, each section of a room has mana? Uh... Huh! That's actually really useful to know. Let's see, wonder what ended up happening with the compilations you're working on. The highlights reels? Um... Mainly... Highlights reels are really hard to do. Uh, on my own. And so, the easiest way for me to do uh, highlights reels was to actually grab uh, Twitch clips that people were making that were particularly funny. Problem is, uh, I haven't gotten a whole lot of Twitch clips lately, so... Uh, I got a number of them that looked pretty good. But, like, it's very difficult for me to go through... Uh... It's very difficult for me to go through, like, every single one of my videos ever uh, for every funny thing that I've ever done. Uh, as there are so many videos, and I'm already not editing them much. If I were doing, like, more editing on the... Like... Uh, if I was front-loading more of my editing and, you know, really cutting things down to begin with, it wouldn't be so bad. The more clippable things, duh. I've done plenty of clippable things. I just don't see them go by? Like, what was it? I, I notice people will quote me on chat. That happens. Okay, this isn't working. Begin Operation Spiky Balls. There we go. Got it. I'm starting to take too much damage. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if I can go back. I don't think I'm going to go down, but we might want to run the dungeon for a little bit while I get my HP back. Oh, but yeah. I don't mind doing more uh, clip compilations and stuff like that. I was starting to do it, and it was kind of working, but yeah, I just ran out of ammunition. So I effectively made four, uh, only released one of them. Let's see. And then kind of stopped because it didn't quite seem like it was worth it. I don't know. I, I just don't think it's uh, necessarily my content style that people are looking for, so there just wasn't, like, the immediate audience for it. I don't know. I... I wouldn't... I don't know. I... I have a billion ideas of things that I want to do over the years. Uh, over the months, over the days, weeks, whatever. And just trying to find time for all of it uh, is kind of rough. Uh, I guess the other thing that got to me is I was originally going to do, like, the first couple and then potentially hire somebody else. Ow. Uh... To handle the uh, the brunt of the editing, but then the pandemic happened, and I don't have as much spare money anymore, which is kind of crappy. Because uh, yeah, I I specifically was starting this project, uh, the like clip compilations and whatnot. I was starting that project when I was that was like still kind of Christmas time. Uh, and Christmas time is almost always, like, the best time for me, uh, financially. Just because, you know, that's that's when everybody is advertising forever. At least used to. And so, it was it was kind of, like, kind of no-brainer. Okay, I'm just going to maintain this, this momentum and, you know, take some of the spare money and put it towards hiring an editor to 
cut some of my not some of my videos down, but just like find good clips here and there. And compile them into a video that I can release occasionally. Problem is, yeah, no. Uh AdRev has cratered. Like, for frame of reference, I guess it's not quite as bad as the Adpocalypse, interestingly enough. I think the Adpocalypse is actually still worse than a global freaking pandemic. Though the pandemic is going to last a lot longer. Uh, the Adpocalypse is only bad for like a month, month and a half, and this is going to take some time. But yeah, if you guys want me to do, uh, like, clip compilations and highlight reels, uh, if you help out by, by clipping things when I'm being particularly silly, it would be such a major boon. And I could even do something like uh, crediting people that do the, the clip is like a, hey, this person grabbed this clip during this video or stream or something like that. I don't know if there's some kind of attribution that people would want. Because the main problem is just like, I can't justify the, the time on my own. And maybe if there's a way that I could press a uh, press a button on my stream deck and just quote, uh, just grab like a clip of the last minute and send it to myself. That might actually be a possibility as well. I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's tricks for it. That other streamers have specifically. Let's see. I specifically pioneered. Let's see. But the entire time you're doing push-ups and count how many you've done. I mean, if a moderator wanted to put together a uh, a push-up counter thing, uh, that actually would be kind of cool and see how many push-ups I've done over the year. Because all it would take it, it would it would just be R.I.P. But with uh... <laughs> okay, uh, that would almost work. Can we get a ripped counter? Because I be I bet we could get a ripped counter, where it's just every every time I do a set of push-ups, we just take it up by one and go from there. I was like, wait a second. RIP almost works, and it's like, oh yeah, it does work, in fact. I actually don't know if we have any particularly active moderators right now. Who can even put that together? Oh, there we go. I would definitely go with the full RIPP ED, though. Uh, cause just singular RIP, uh, you'd actually potentially confuse them every once in a while. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know, I, I guess in general the more I can kind of crowdsource small things that probably wouldn't take too much of other people's time, uh, the easier it becomes on my end. Because I... There's just not enough man hours in the in a given day for, like, all the things that I want to get done. And do. Because, yeah, I want to paint more. I want to work on a webcomic of some variety. I want to... Maybe make a podcast? I want to... Jeez... What other, what other crazy pipe dreams do I want to do? I still would love to get to the point where I'm a large enough channel that I could uh, afford to af afford to split an office, I guess, with other people. I don't think it would actually work, but I would love to have like a, a group workplace of some variety. Just for more like spontaneous activities. Like, oh shoot, whatever, what the creatures were without all of the uh, property destruction and creepy, creepiness.
mainly I think that's that's like a super pipe dream for me just because like I haven't seen other human beings other than Shell in two months now and it's starting to wear on me just a bit because Shell is absolutely lovely but external stimuli helps a lot Still saying that doesn't sound right. Probably doesn't. But yeah. I've actually been trying to reach out to some more people. Because I'd like to start... One th that's, a, that's another pipe dream that is both more achievable and less. And I think we were even talking about this the last time. Um, what is with this room? Oh. It's one of these rooms. That's okay. Flame wheel just absolutely wrecks their business. There we go. Uh, but I'd like to bring Catterday back. Not probably in name, but definitely in, like, activity. Because I definitely miss, like, either Friday or Saturday nights. Just, like, a group game session. Whoever's available, everybody piles in and plays one to two, maybe even three, like, kind of co op -y games. For a while. But ever since that crew kind of disintegrated, I just haven't had the, uh, the will or the motivation to really, like, reach out to people and be like, hey, who wants to get together and play, like, X thing for, you know, a couple hours? Because that was fun. I missed that. Because we got to do a lot of, like, kind of multiplayer things that I just straight up can't, uh, play on my own. Hey, thank you, Zorus, for the host. Uh, let's see. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah. I'm having fun. The wizard is still broken. Despite claims to... Uh, the opposite effect. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Break these things. Hey. I don't think there's really a whole lot of reason for me to go... Probably shouldn't have broke those actually. It's fine. Uh, where do we even want to go? Don't want to try going down to the dungeon. We've cleared almost the entire top area. Not all of it, but going back there hurts. Hi. Messy. All that for a thousand gold. Not really worth it. Let's see. Well, no use on that. There we go. So I've got more money than I will probably need for a lifetime. No, I'm definitely going to spend all of this cash. Gosh, if I could do this... If I could successfully do this run with a Spelunker... I'd be so ungodly wealthy. The problem is just wizards are dumb bust... Ah. Wizards are dumb busted and everything else uh, just doesn't quite cope. I'm sure if I was a Pogo Master in this game, it wouldn't be so bad. But I am... I am no Pogo Master. News Wander, your character's lifetime is extremely short. Now this character. This character is a long lasting. Tim out to Cronian Twitch is with language. I'd say make a Patreon reward to play multiplayer game. As like a random lotto kind of deal. Uh it, uh hmm, heh, hmm. How do I The problem with that sort of thing, I I mean I've talked about this a little bit, but anytime that I would play multiplayer with someone, I pretty much wouldn't be able to record it. And that's a bit of a... That's a bit of a letdown. Like, I've, I've definitely done open lobby things. And I still do them here and there. Uh, and at some point we'll bring back... Uh, Mastorio, because Mastorio is a hell of a lot of fun. 
Let's see. Which might take issue with Patreon incentives. I mean, straight up, like, I don't like Patreon. I, I'm not actually sure which company makes me more uncomfortable. Patreon or Amazon? Is it? It's weird. Like, I don't like Amazon that much. They're kind of a creepy company that, like, could be an absolute force for good. But because Bezos needs that extra couple of billion dollars, they're not. I think that's true of a lot of companies, but, like, gosh, you really think you could do some amazing things uh, with this kind of platform, these kinds of platforms, uh, if you're willing to lose your profit margin to some small degree. But yeah, StarCraft 2 Arcade, that was, that was something I used to do. And that honestly might be something that I do again. Uh, I need to reach out to my brother again. Uh, we gotta, we gotta finish Mercenary Kings, but after, after we're done with Mercenary Kings, I'd actually really like to, um... Oh, bah, 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 bah. I'd actually like to do some StarCraft Arcade and some other things, except for there's Blizzard. Let's see. Wouldn't mind Guild Wars 2 at some point. Shell would love to play that game again. My problem with Guild Wars 2 is it's just kind of solo unfriendly. Once you get past a certain point in the uh, in the progression path, it actually is just hard, always. But not in the way that like Dark Souls is hard. Well, kind of. I don't know. It's like they have dodging and they have mitigation and whatnot. But I I felt like every fight in... Um, I felt like every fight in Guild Wars 2 after a certain point became this, like, weird struggle to survive even against, like, the most basic of enemies or enemy groups, even with, like, a more tanky area. And so, like, you either had to run around with a group or play, like, really carefully always. And it felt strange to me. You need a Guild Wars 2 squad, like you had in Destiny. Yeah, and we did actually have that. I, I don't remember how many of you guys were around when we were attempting to do a... Uh, a Guild Wars uh, set of streams. It worked okay-ish, and we actually got a lot done. Uh, and I think we had like 40 people running around in some of the low-level zones. It's just once you started getting up to the higher-level areas, then it started to drop off a bit, so we just go back to the low-level areas for people to catch up. Let's see. Is that it? Oh, we got it. Hey. But yeah, I, I know I, I specifically do really enjoy when I get uh, really invested in an MMO and a lot of the community joins along. I was kind of hoping the same thing would happen with uh, Destiny 2 when that came to PC. And we got a number of people, but it was less than I was hoping for. Okay, there we go. Took a bit of damage. I'll have to wait for my man to come back here. At least for a little bit. But yeah, that might be might be something to consider. Unfortunately, almost every time I stream, most people are kind of bit uh whenever I stream MMO eh. Stream MMOs, most people are just like not super interested. And I totally understand that. Like, they're not as fun to watch. It just sucks because that's like the easiest way that I could ever play multiplayer with everybody else. Yeah, MMOs are hard to get into as a non-invested viewer. Yeah, and that's why I said I totally understand. It just sucks because it's like, that would be... That is the easiest solution to... Uh, group play... Desires, I guess? That's a big skeleton ball. All right, there we go. 
Dauntless was fun. I like Dauntless, but it was too grindy for my taste. I think that's the other thing that gets me with a lot of MMOs, is that to get half of this stuff, like, the cool stuff, you have to spend so much time and effort and energy that it actually just becomes a job. I'm like, I get it. Like, I play video games for a living, so it's, it's like, I could just kind of mildly justify it. At the same time, uh, it's... It's my personal mission to always avoid burnout. Uh, for those of you, for those of you, uh, I guess unfamiliar with the term or the concept, burnout is like I mean I'm sure most people know what burnout is, but like, it's easy to get burnt out when you do one thing over and over again. Mass Hammer Watch looked goofy as heck. It was that was goofy. I liked that. Uh, I actually. It wouldn't be Mass Hammer Watch again, but I, I'm going to see if I can get some people to play Hammer Watch co-op with. Main, main issue with Mass Hammer Watch was it was just... It worked when it was like 5-10 people, and then when it went beyond that, it, then it became a problem. Let's wait here. Okay, uh, let's see. But, so it was like, one part babysitting and one part, like... I don't even know how to describe it, but it was... It was like all of the skilled players effectively had to only revive each other, because all of the unskilled players would die and then drag everybody else down, because they just keep dying. And that sucked, and I didn't want to put anybody into that position, so it's like... If I were to do Mass Hammer Watch again, I don't know how I would do it. Anybody left? Let's see. Are these axes? No, these are knives. I care not for your knife game, weird clown. Freaking flame pinwheel. It's just kind of the perfect perfect spell for this game. You don't actually have to attack, you just have to get close enough that it just rolls right through them. Thomas is grindy, but it's got interest for me at times. I think my biggest issue with, with it, it was just, it was requiring me to go fight the same monsters over and over and over again. Uh, and I, I guess from like kind of a, I'm not going to say a flip side perspective, but I was really enjoying, uh, Monster Hunter Worlds, especially when I was playing it on the PC, because there was straight up, uh, there was mods that just let you, like, give yourself everything, which did mean that I didn't hit the skill cap, because the game is actually, like, has a pretty high skill ceiling, but from a, like, time investment standpoint, it meant that I didn't have to keep fighting the same monster over and over and over again to get all of the, uh, all of the requisite parts, and that was that was huge for me. Don't invite noobs. Or uh, oh, for Heroes of Hammerwatch. I mean, that's what I eventually did, but at that point, it wasn't Mass Hammerwatch anymore. But the problem is, then it became everybody was just better, like better equipped than me because it was the people that had played a considerable amount of it, and that was kind of a letdown in its own regard. I don't know. It's hard to. It's hard to design anything and everything to work. Mastorio is probably the... I'm not going to say the perfect uh, mass multiplayer game I've ever played, but, like, there's always a role for everybody, and even if you have no idea what you're doing, there's something for you to do. Let's see, where are we going? We don't have any teleporters nearby, which kind of sucks. Or we might? We'll see. No. You stopped playing Monster Hunter because your group fell apart. Yeah, I... For the brief moment that my previous group was playing Monster Hunter together, 
it was pretty fun. And then it started having personality conflicts, because, uh, like everything else, you can't... It's a game that you can't just play super casually, uh, if you're trying to record a series on it. Like, you have to grind for gear, otherwise you're just gonna get smacked around. And, uh... It's very much like a, a teamwork-centric game, and so if somebody's not a team player, it's, uh... It sucks. And so that was... I would say that was, like, a... Not a major contributing factor. It was the straw that broke the camel's back, I think. On destroying... A lot of that group for me, which kind of blew. So, like, I... I'd love to do another uh, another run of Monster Hunter World with people that are as committed to it as I am. But I think that's true of a lot of things, like... I don't know. I wish there were more, like, Super Variety Act people that I could just be like, we are going to play all of Monster Hunter World and we are going to like it. And it would just work out. But it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. I'm this crappy unicorn, uh, where... I, I've had this experience a couple of times when I'm working with other channels, especially. Uh, but this, this feeling of you have to do everything specifically for your channel. Uh, and I mean, honestly, I'm in the same boat. There are definitely points where I'm just like, yeah, I have to do this thing, or I can't do this thing because it's not actually, like, good co good content. Um. But it's rare that I've ever put out a series and been like, that was a waste of time, I should not have done that. Uh, and usually the ones that I do that for are, like, long RPGs. Eek. Never multiplayer stuff, but whenever I'm playing multiplayer with anybody else, like I was having this problem with uh, Moose and Joe, where we'd have a lot of fun, but their audience just would not show up for multiplayer anything. I think it. Uh, I think for me, I I would definitely get like less people watch. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's not be around that. I'll just let that go. Why is that one red? Let's... Oops. Ow. I'm starting to get sloppy. But then again, we have 120,000 gold, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so for their perspective, they they couldn't justify playing multiplayer or D&D &D or any any of the, like, cool, fun group things because uh, it was, like, straight up killing their channel, and that was kind of brutal. Uh, and I could never really figure out, like, how or why... Uh, let alone how to fix that sort of thing, and it kind of sucks for me, because if I could fix that someday and figure out how to, like, do multiplayer with people in such a way that it wouldn't it wouldn't actually be de detrimental, that would be lovely. Because I think it was, like, EDF4 for me. Absolute, like, banger of a series. People loved the shit out of it. Everybody else I was playing with was like, yeah, no one wanted to watch this. I'm like, what? How? EDF is amazing! Uh. I should just hire friends. Who cares if it's fake? It's probably a bad idea. I could. Like, I know that was... That was actually a huge issue for, I think, a lot of group channels back in the day. That after a certain point, some of their, like, bread and butter uh, would start drying up and they all w wanted to kind of do their own thing or, like, had to focus on themselves. And it splintered hard. Yep. 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 Ow. Hmm. Right, so that is a lot of damage. Ooh. 
Are these flower mons? They are flower mons. Alright. Time to learn how to do this. Oh. Oh. Botus, I'm not ready for you. And I'm going to die. I missed that one. I was in, in the air too much, and I don't have nearly as many jumps as I thought I had. But that's okay. We kicked ass. Alright, do we want to do another Archmage? I mean, Archmages are pretty much my go-to, so let's go with this. Uh, let's see. First and foremost, let's take a look at what equipment I have. So what's the plus one do? 